inside more bubble wrap but here is what I'm here for it's a very nice bag very nice bag I hope this is visible on camera be mighty shame if it wasn't there is the remix everything seems to be intact What is that? Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Just wow. Seems to be a little bit out of position. Let me just move that back. Yes. <sighs> Simply amazing. <laughs> I'm so happy to be holding this in my hand right now. A little bit speechless. the plastic seems fine to me on first glance these are the stickers there's also an instruction manual because there are certain movements that you should not be making on this remix so let me just uh, set this up again with a different camera angle and get back all right so now that the puzzle has been taken out of that enormous uh, box and all the tons of packaging I am finally able to fit in on my desk to capture it all in a single frame um, on my phone's camera. So here we are, here is this magnificent beast, the Reminx, also called the Giga Tutminx. How beautiful this is. This shape is actually a truncated icosahedron and icosahedron is a 20 sided um, um, solid shape while uh, this has 32 faces. There are 32 of these um, faces. It's been made by cutting off the corners on a icosahedron to get, um, uh, you can see that there are hexagons and also pentagons. And in fact, at the intersection or in between five of these hexagons, there will be one shared pentagon. That's how the structure uh, looks like. Um, there are actually a lot of pieces on this. Uh, if I remember correctly, there are 722 moving pieces and uh, 1112 stickers. It's 1112 stickers that I now have to put on this. Um, I'm not sure about the exact number, but um, it should be um, in the same uh, magnitude that I just mentioned. That's, that's, it's a massive number. It's uh, easily the biggest puzzle that I own. Uh, I bought this um, directly from the Very Puzzle website during their um, mid-autumn sale so got a got quite a good discount. It was a good time to buy something as big as this. Here is the bag that it came in. It's a very well designed, uh, it's a very nice bag. It's purplish color, nice. And it also came with this uh, sticker set. PVC stickers. Just gonna open it up and let's see what colors we've got. Oh, it comes with a small autograph. Very nice. Let's see. Oh, there's also an instruction manual of some sort. Oh, here's the English. Do not drop, do not speed cube. Do not disassemble. 
do not rotate in the informal state and yeah it talks about um, the symmetry of this fuzzer and how we should and shouldn't turn it that's going to be useful i will look through that later though i think i've already i already know what um, they expect us to do here are the stickers these are there are a lot i'm there's a there's way more than 32 colors on here so it's going to be quite a challenge to know which ones to pick and they're very bright colors there are light colors but what i have to say is that these stickers look absolutely gorgeous textures really really nice really high quality stickers beautiful and for the pentagon i believe those are for the hexagons the pentagons have carbon fiber stickers which means they have a, a lines of texture to them the alignment of these are going to make the solve a lot more tricky that's the way it's been designed uh, well once again absolutely gorgeous colors i'm gonna have a hard time deciding which ones to pick anyway that's about the stickers and the remix maybe i should show a quick size comparison um, here is it here it is next to a megaminx i mean it doesn't even come close even the pentagonal faces are far far bigger on the remix than on the megaminx um, here is my crazy chopper which previously was my biggest puzzle and this easily eclipses that uh, here it is next to a regular 56 mm rubik's cube amazing this is it stands at a whopping 21 centimeters which is uh, absolutely amazing i will now make a few turns on the ramings um, before stickering i will be a little bit careful with it because there are a few moves that can that are not really allowed on this for example hexagonal faces should not be moved um, in just one step you can see that it is quite misaligned here so that is not allowed we should always move it in steps of two now it's perfectly aligned again so um, it's hard to see that when it is not stickered so they don't recommend it but uh, just to check out the turning i'm just gonna do it a few times i have to keep it <laughs> a little far away this is beautiful this is <laughs> this is a work of art already and I haven't even stickered it yet. I'm just really enjoying the sound and the way it turns. It is a beautiful puzzle. Um, I can't wait to get this stickered and uh, see how it looks.